And the next thing that we want to do over here is to get our employee. So if I go and we have a get the employees, that is returning us the list of the employee data. So we'll go to the home screen and we will first of all, I think, convert this stateless widget to the stateful widget over here. And okay, so it's converted and now we can use the init function over here. And once we have this init, let me go and set up the our variable over here so i'll just say the let and app sorry app db that we have will be of underscore the app tv or we can just call it as a db right so once we have that and we will go over here and initialize in init underscore db will be equals to the app db that we have okay so we got it and the next thing is that uh, we need to go over here in the body so it's returning a column let me remove that and we will return a future over from a future builder and the return type will be of the list of the employee data so that will be the return type so if you go over here the list of employee data so we need the same over here and let me close this one and create a constructor and then let's go over here and we need the future as well as the future will be the underscore db dot get the employees so this is the future because this is returning a future right and then we have another option builder and this builder will take the context right so if you go over here builder text the concept uh, context and the async snapshot so uh, s snap s n a p s h o t is it correct snapshot i just saw it something different the uh, s snapshot right so we need a async snapshot so i can just call it as a snapshot or something you can give it a different name so once we have this right so i can just go and uh, create over here and okay so it could, it's going to give us a snapshot and once i have the snapshot i can just say final i, I will just create a list of employee i think here list of the employee data that we have and that will be of the E M P L O Y E S employees, which is oh, we are going to get it from the snapshot dot the data, right? So that will be one why it is giving me error snapshot dot the data and they're trying to get a variable casting to the right hand list of the employee. So it's a snapshot dot. I think I need to get it. I think is it correct? so snapshot the data and um, yeah i think that should be the one that we are trying to get snapshot the data and i think because this is the return type is of the nullable so i think i'll just create this one as a nullable yeah i think because the return type is of nullable so we need to set it as a nullable over here so once we have that uh, we need to check a few conditions over here so if the uh, snapshot dot the connection state that we have is uh, not equals to the connection state then we have the done right so connection state dot done and then we will just close it right so we can close. once okay so we need to if the connection state is not it is done that means it is still loading so we will return from here uh, let's say uh, a center widget center and child and child will be of the let's say a circular progress bar indicator that we are going to return from here so let's set it this one to const i think okay so that should be the one so we are loading the screen we are showing the loading screen if the connection state is not done and the next thing that we are going to check is if the if the snapshot right dot has if it is it has an error so which means there is an error 
then we want to return again the uh, let's say a center over here and the child and the child we will return a text from here and in the text uh, we will get the snapshot dot the error that we have dot to string so we will convert it to to a string so that will give us the loading bar as well as the the error right so once we are we know that there is no error and the connection state is not done uh, it is done already so which means there is a data already so we can go and check for the if the employees that we are getting right is uh, not equals to null so if that is not null which means there is some data then we can return from here uh, let's create a list view so list uh, list view builder so let's create a list view builder and it takes the builder will takes the build context and the int so we need to give a context over here and the index that we are going to get right so once we got that one i need to get the final and i'll just say uh, employee so this time we are just want to get a single employee so from employees i can get by the index right so i will get it by the index that we have over here so this will give us the single employee based on the index and i think that should be uh, fine over here and do i have any other need to pass in so let me just arrange it properly so here i i need to pass the item count so item count will be the the length of the particular employee that we are getting so this will be the employees dot the length that we have that we'll set and then that should get the index so once we have this one uh, we can actually create our uh, let us create something like a return from here we will return uh, let's say a card let's return a card from here and the card has a child and in this child we will create a column so see your column let us create a column over here and this column will again have a children right so let me arrange it properly okay so we got children and let me close all of this stuff and yeah i think that should be fine okay so we have a card now this card you can use it to for the column and inside this column i will create a text and the text we will set the value of the employee that we have dot the uh, let's get the id first of all and dot to string that will convert it to a string and let me just get some of the duplicated and employee dot the uh, username that we will get and employee dot the first name that we are going to get and the last name that we are going to get so let us give a comma over here and i need a one more that will be of the employee dot uh, date of birth that to a string okay i think that should be the fine um do we have any error looks like we got some error and it is saying that uh, we we are returning a null so i think uh, somewhere here i think this is for if condition where is that one i think this one so over here so here we need to return something otherwise it will give us an error so i'll just say const and then we'll say uh, let us return a text and here we will just uh, give say something there or we will say no data found i think that should be fine right okay so let's look fine so every error is gone and i hope you got it so first of all let let me recap it what we did over here so we 
created first of all converted it to the uh, the stateful widget right and then we created a let init variable of db and initialize the db in our init state over here and uh, then we will uh, we created a future builder over here that takes the list of the employee data and in the future we got the call the the database query or the database uh, function and then we use a build context to get the context and the snapshot and then we got the employee from our employees from the snapshot data and we check for the condition over here if the snapshot the state is not equal to done that means it is still loading so we will show a progress bar and uh, then if it has an error then we'll show an error error over here and finally we'll check for if the employee is uh, not equal to null which means there is some data in the employee then we will return a list view right so we'll create a list view and created a card and then we added this all of this um, field that we are getting from the database so one more thing that we need to don't forget over here is to dispose right we should always call the dispose to dispose our database so underscore uh, db dot the close right so we will close the connection over here now let us run our application and uh, okay so we have a one employee that we got it already and let us add uh, one more and i'll just say a uh, demo uh, let's say demo 2 and then we have our demo 2 and let's give a name as a demo 2 and last name as a test p e s t test 1 or test 2 or something and data bird let us select some data bird from here and then let us uh, save that one okay so we got that one and now i need to refresh this one right so we can see that we have our record already so the next thing is that we need to do a little bit of format over here so let's do it on the next one till then have a great day